spotting the learning potential offered in Emily Gravitt's book, Tidy. A school Sachbin year two teacher, Rebecca Schoen, decided to explore some of the themes of sustainably managing our natural resources the book features with her learners. Learners were shocked and disappointed to find the local woodland where they regularly visit had been trashed over a weekend. So the learning began with the actual tidying of what the learners see as their woodland. Miss Schoen told the children that they would be looking at a story called Tidy and they created a book cover based on what they thought it would be about. They were then shocked to find out it was about a badger and the woods. The learners went on to make predictions, looked at the language and the rhyming words used within the book and carried out some drama. The children thought about questions to ask Pete the badger before going on to think about speech bubbles and how Pete was feeling. I think Pete was feeling very sad that he had done something wrong. This was a good opportunity to see the empathy the children had towards Pete, but also towards the woods and how Pete was taking away nature. The learners then started to innovate with the intention of writing a story independently at the end. Story maps were made and the children practiced retelling the story orally using actions. Lots of oracy work was completed before the children went on to write their own versions of Tidy. Deep in the pond lived a frog called Cedric who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the birds by tree to tree and brushing the squirrels and bathing them all. Miss Schoen, the class teacher, felt their texts were amazing and felt the story had really inspired them to think about how they can help care for the natural environment but also maintain its beauty. Whee!